What's up guys and welcome back to another Obikazu Hyrule video. <laughs> Today, we are beginning our journey towards one of the phenomena. Uh, specifically, I believe we are going towards Rito Village. So yeah, let's get started. Um, the first thing I notice is this looks like a mob, like a uh, monster base. And there's a bloopy. Um, so I guess we'll see what's inside. And there's something hanging from the ceiling. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's not good. There's a lot of them. At least they don't seem to be... Oops, I missed. Too strong. Wow, I'm really bad at this. Ow! I didn't notice he had a spear. Ow. Ow. I can't. There we go. My sword broke, so let's select another weapon. There we go, we got a soldier's broadsword. There we go. Poor Blinhorn. An elongated, hammer-shaped horn with a hard, flat front, attached to a weapon to increase attack power, or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Ooh, a chest. <coughs> okay. Well, a rusty halberd spear. Okay. Horribling claw. I picked a really bad spot to try and fight those guys. I'll need to remember to not fight in a narrow area. Let's see what's in the chest. A spiky spear. Okay. Um, that is better than my rusty halberd spear, so I'll swap it. And I see some items over here that we can grab. Oh, wait. That is a very handy ability. A bright cap. Okay. What's that? I missed it. Okay. And some rocks. Do I have a breaker? A, a boulder breaker on me? I do. Let's use this one. There we go. What's that? Aw, oh, my bow broke. What is this? Oh! A booble gem. A strange crystal left by defeated booble frogs in caves. Its eerie blue glow may entice you to collect even more. Okay. Interesting. Got some flint. Anything else in here? A truffle. Um, but it looks like that's it. Interesting. Alright, well, I guess we will continue on our way Whoops. to Rita Village. Ooh, some amber. And another bright cap. Let's see what else there is. Um. Huh. What is that? Oh, there's a shine. Let's see. Alright, so... 
I'm more I'm heading more that way. Looks like that's where I'm headed. Okay. Well, looks like there's a shrine along the way, so we'll go there. Bacoblin. Bacoblin. I missed. There we go. Ow! I need to do some cooking. Hyrule herb. Herb. Fire. Um. Hey, look! It's another one of these guys. Let's help him with his sign. Uh. There we go. Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here, too. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Try letting go. What? Are you going to support him? Alright, I'll let go. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be about the same uh, response every time. Okay, we got a red rupee. Uh, some hasty veggie rice balls. And, ooh, a bomb flower. Sweet, we got a bomb flower. That'll be helpful. Nope, I cannot catch those dragonflies. All right, well, let's see about this shrine. Oops, some more Hyrule Herb. Darner. I got it, a warm darner. Uh, I guess we have to climb up. I hope we have enough stamina. Oh good, we can rest. Then we should be fine. There we go. wonder what that is. Isho dog shrine. Let's see what we've got. A windy device. So, we're working with fans. Shouldn't be too hard. We just set that there. And fly. Easy enough. And I guess here we make a boat. Let's hit it with something other than our sword. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to hit it twice. At least the plank respawned. Uh, let's try this again. Aw oh, man! There we go. Finally, we got it. Oh, a chest. Hmm. I bet we can do it like this. This one. And 
fly up. Easy. And what do we get? An opal. Alrighty. Uh, now I'm guessing I need you on here. I guess that's not strong enough. easy enough. I'll be it a little slow. And now we get our Light of the Blessing. Sweet. Now we can continue on. Oh, there's some fans here. Interesting. And whatever this is. Hey, there's a chest up there. How do I get to it? Oh, wait. I bet we can use the fans. Really? That's too far? There we go. We'll just put it up there. Here we go. What's in the chest? A spiky club? Hmm. Okay. Uh, we'll drop our rock hammer since it's about to break anyway. And let's go. Oh, not, a, not again. Not again. I do not like those moving trees. Use an axe. <laughs> Got him. Put a lizard. He dropped a lizard. And a chickaloo tree nut. Monster extract. They can drop that? Huh, okay. Oh, and there's a Hinox. Well, that's nice. Uh, let's see if we can sneak up on him and grab some stuff. Let me drop a weapon so I have room. Uh, we'll drop this. Keep it nice and quiet so that he doesn't hear us. And we'll try and climb up on him and steal any weapons he has. But I don't know that I want to try and fight him just yet. Toasty Hylian Sherm. Let's see. If I remember correctly, if you climb onto their hand, you can wait for them to lift you up to their stomach. There we go. Uh, traveler's sword. And a traveler's bow. Uh, I don't need to claim more. Should we try? I guess. Should we try and fight him? I guess we can do it. Uh, we'll use our spiky club. There we go. Huh? That worked pretty well. And we got him in the eye again. Okay. 
And now we've almost taken half his health. There we go. There we go. We got about half his health with that. Uh, there we go. Aw, oh, man. My, my club is badly damaged, too. I missed. There we go. My club broke. Uh, spear. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We got his eye again. Look like it looks like it's gonna take one more try. Oh, I'm stuck. I started climbing. Ah! Got his eye and hit him. He's so low. Got him. Sweet. That wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. And we got some spicy peppers. And a wild berry. A Hinox toenail. And a Hinox horn. Sweet. That wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. How did a Hinox toenail get all the way over here? That looks like there's some more stuff over here. Alright. Oh, and I think I see a stable up ahead. I wonder what's down there. I don't remember... I don't remember this area in Breath of the Wild, so... Hey, wait a second. Lady Impa. Hmm? Ah, Link. I'd heard that you and Princess Zelda had gone missing. I'm thrilled to see you alive and well. But where's Princess Zelda? Huh? I see. So Princess Zelda's whereabouts are still unknown, you say. Since that is the case, Link, I encourage you to go and speak with Lady Impa. L Impa? Oh, she's over there. I believe she may have some useful information that relates to the search for Princess Zelda. Alright, well, I will have to go talk to her soon. Not much of a wagon? Oh, a customer. Good thing you got here before nightfall. I'm kind of in the middle of something, but if you'd like to use the stable, you can go up to the counter. What are you up to? Aha, well, since you asked... After a long, tireless search, I found a wagon to call my own. Look at this butte. Okay, yes, it's clearly it's a fixer-upper, I was going to say. But I can replace the missing wheels using building materials from the stable. Then I just have to catch a wild horse to hook, up, hook the wagon up to, and I'll be set. Building materials? There's a stash of unused building materials at every stable. No two stashes will have the exact same materials. But they do have one thing in common. They're open for everyone to use, no questions asked. Wild horse? If you catch a wild horse, you can make it your own. There are lots of them around here, as a matter of fact. It's hard to catch them, though. You have to crouch down and sneak up on them or they'll run away. Even after you do catch one, you'll have to soothe the horse or you'll get thrown off. I always mess that part up. Fine, don't offer to help. Yeesh, do I look like I can fix a horse drawn wagon on my own? It's not as if I wouldn't pay you back. I'd give you all my savings, in fact. Oh. Well, I guess we have a side quest to do as well. Looks like we can go ahead and do the wagon. If we just put the wheels on. There we go. Huh? What? It's fixed? That was easy enough. Now we just need to get her a horse. I wonder if there are any around here. It's fixed. Did you do this for me? Thank you so, so much. 
It's like a brand new wagon with wheels and everything. Now I'm only one step away from my dream of having a horse-drawn wagon. Of course, that last hurdle is the hardest, catching a wild horse. As soon as I get near a wild horse, it runs off. How am I going to catch one? Oh, I see some horses over there. Let's see if we can get them. Make sure I'm coming up behind him. I don't want to scare him off. This may take a while. Yep, they're coming over here. Yep. Got him. Oh. Sweet, we already tamed him. That was easy. Huh. He's only a two spur though. Huh. Oh, oh. Oh. There we go. Now she's got a horse too. Did you catch this angel for me? It's just what I pictured. Perfect for pulling. All yours. Huh? You mean that? You'd really part with such a wonderful horse? Thank you. Wow, who knew stuff like this really happened? I'm so, so happy. I'll just go ahead and put a harness on it. A harness? A harness is a piece of equipment that you can put on horses you own. With a harness, you can connect your horse to a wagon or an item you need to take somewhere. If you collect enough pony points, you'll get one as a prize. Are you a stable member? No? Then by all means, go up to the stable counter and register for membership. So bear with me a moment. Huh. Okay, good to know. You can use horses to carry stuff places. And we are all set. I can't believe it. A wagon of my own and a beautiful horse to pull it. To think I started with that old piece of junk and ended up with this. Amazing. Thank you so, so much. It, here, it's all I have left after buying the wagon. I'm begging you. No, forcing you to take it, please. Whoa. Okay. Oh, that's right. There's one last order of business. What's your name? Link. Hmm? Zumi? Link? Maybe Zuli? Or Lumi? Or what about Zunk? What is this? I'll call this wagon Zunk. <laughs> I promise to look after Zunk for as long as I live. Zunk? I feel like any of the other options were better names than that. Welcome to my stable. We also deal we deal in all things horse related. We also double as an inn. Hmm, it seems you're not a member yet. Our stable uses the stable association's membership system, so you'll need to register if you want to use it. Okay. May I ask you for your name? Link. Alright, Mr. Link. There. You're all signed up. Now would you like me to tell you about the stable system? I already know that. Is that so? Well then, once again, welcome to our stables. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. If you want to lodge with us, please visit the counter inside. Now, how can I help you? Uh, I think that's it for now. Wait, what am I thinking? I completely forgot to explain how pony points work. What are pony points? That's right, it's a reward system you can use at stables. In short, every time you use a service, you get points. No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there, registering a horse, stuff like that. Without further ado, since this is your first time visiting New Serene Stable, Seren, Seren, you get a pony point. Ah, nice. Save up points to earn a wagon load of wonderful rewards for you and your horse companions. You can trade your pony points for prizes at the ledger counter over there. Check out the ledger for prize details, member rules, and other information. Come back again anytime. Huh, okay. Good to know. Let's see if anyone else has a side quest to do. There's Beetle. Um, but it doesn't look like anyone has a side quest. Alright, then for the last thing we're going to do today, let's go see Impa and then see what this thing is. What is it meant to depict? 
What a surprise it is to see you here after all this time, Link. Impa, the Sheikah Elder. I heard you had gone missing. It is certainly a relief to see you back and in one piece, more or less. Mm. And Princess Zelda, where is she? Oh. What? She still has yet to return? In that case, we, we must use all available means to search for her. Link, when Princess Zelda went missing, something else happened all over Hyrule. During the upheaval, huge pictures appeared out of nowhere, images that have sprawled across fields and hills. Huh. We are calling them geoglyphs. I understand that they have been found in locations across the kingdom. Kato and I are traveling from region to region in hopes of seeing them all. Oh. I noticed this geoglyph, geoglyph from a distance while I was standing on high ground. Examining it up close, I could not make out what it depicted. I thought it might have a better view from the sky. It I took to the air in the balloon Pura gave me, but then alas, the wind struck and completely sheared the balloon off at the base. I have racked my brain for ways to reattach the two parts to no avail. Oh, well, that's easy enough for me to do. Oops. There we go. Uh, can I talk to her? Oh, I didn't mean to pick up the torch. Oh, there we go. Oh, you fixed my balloon. Thank you, Link. Will you come with me to take a look at the geoglyph? Sure. Time to head out, then. Ah, I nearly forgot. Would you mind doing one final thing for me? What? Light a fire there, and the balloon will start to float. Then we can be on our way. Okay. So I just gotta light a fire. Uh, that means I gotta drop something, then. We'll drop it. The axe. Whoops. There we go. There we go. Cool. Hot air balloons in Zelda now. Oh. Too high up. I feel faint. Hmm. But finally we can see it. The geoglyph. Well done, Link. You know, I read something in the village's old literature, a passage about what the ancients called Dragon's Tears. Where the tears rest upon the earth, we mark down the images to which they gave birth. Huh. I believe this geoglyph is one such image, but even from this vantage, it, its meaning is no clearer to me. Nor can I figure out what Dragon's Tears might be. But you know, if the literature is correct, correct one of them should be quite, quite close near the geoglyph or within its borders. Would you look around? This could be the clue we need to discover Princess Zelda's whereabouts. If you would like to g examine the geoglyph from ground level, you can float down with the paraglider. No need to worry about me. I can manage a simple landing. Alright. Well, let's see about this dragon's tier then. Uh, where is the geoglyph? Ah, here it is. Let's see if I can see anything from up here. Um... It looks like a Zonai. And it's got some tier designs on it. And that one's filled in. So maybe that's where I'm supposed to go? Let's see, are there any other filled in ones anywhere on it? Doesn't look like it. Let's go see if that has anything to do with what we're looking for. Huh, thought I heard a sound behind me. And we'll just fall down a little bit. Looks like there's something there. Ah, there's water. Examine. Is that recall? Oh, the water's going up. It's floating water now. <laughs> with a heartbeat. It's glowing water. Please don't blow up. Okay, good. It didn't blow up. What have we got? Oh. Okay. Is that Zelda? Zelda? 
it is. And she's got a uh, the rock in her hand. What? Who's talking? Who are these people? Uh. Hey, that's Rauru. Uh. Uh. Where am I? We didn't mean to startle you. I'm sorry. It's okay. Was that the Temple of My Time in the background? Sonia? That looks like the Temple of Time. And could we ask what your name is? I... Uh, I am the daughter of King Rome of Hyrule, Zelda. What an unexpected answer. <sighs> we are the king and queen who founded Hyrule after all. Or at least we were the last time I checked. You two founded Hyrule? And you're the king? Interesting. Mm. My name is Raru. It is Raru. So we get to learn about the very beginning of Hyrule. That's interesting. Huh. So was that... So I guess Zelda was transported back in time to the very founding of Hyrule. Wonderful. So we get... We have to figure out how to deal with time. Are we going to be traveling back in time to save her then? Memories number three. Where am I? Okay. Well, now we know what these things are. Oh, Impa. Link, you look distracted. What's wrong? Goodness, you say you had a vision, saw mysterious figures, and then Princess Zelda? Hmm. The geoglyphs, the literature, the dragon's tears, and now a vision of the lost princess. What if these are all connected? Let us continue to examine the geoglyphs. They may contain further clues that lead to Princess Zelda. You know, according to the literature, there is something to do with geoglyphs in the Forgotten Temple. The Forgotten Temple lies at the bottom of a canyon in Hebra. I think we should make our way there soon. Okay. Good to know. Let's see where that is on the map. So... There's the Forgotten Temple. And... Where's our Phenomena? Oh, I should have marked it, shouldn't I have? Let's mark this on the map real quick so we can see. Nope. Alright. So... This is really close to the Forgotten Temple. And then our regional phenomena is there. So, oh, kind of not in the direction we're going. Um, okay, so what should we do next? Should we head to the Forgotten Temple or continue on to our regional phenomena? Let me know in the comments because I'm honestly not sure and there's a falling rock. Um, but yeah. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And please comment suggestions and what I should do in the future. Uh, with that, I'll catch you all later in another video. Bye.